Can I come in? No, I'd rather, I'd rather talk out here. Okay. We think he's back, Ellen. Oh, no. Can I show you a picture? The detective showed me that five years ago. I know. Just look again. Could this be the guy who attacked you? I couldn't say it. I never saw him. Did his voice sound like anyone you know? I told the first detective no. I don't think so. You said at the time you were certain it was a stranger. Right. You got a different feeling about that now? It's okay if you do. No. No. I don't know him. I really can't, I really can't tell you anything. The lead detective on this case is female, Ellen. Would you be more comfortable talking to her? Maybe. Okay. I gotta go to work, but, um, I'm home every day by six. Let me guess, Josh got Katsumori and the rest of them back in the boat. You came to me instead of Tillinghouse because you don't want to use Hoynes. We need this one, Mark. I'm voting no, Leo. Mark, it's all we could get right now, and you know it. You didn't work hard enough. We did. What happened to the Tech DC-9 and the Tech-22? What happened to the Striker-12 and the Street Sweeper? We had to lose them. You never fought for them. We have to do this inch by inch. You know how this works. No, I know how you guys work. That is out of line, Congressman. Guns are number one on my list of priorities, and I've never moved the president off of that. No, keeping the White House strong is number one on your list of priorities. If the White House isn't strong, it doesn't really matter what number two on my list is. God, Mark. The bodies being wheeled into the emergency rooms are black. These guns aren't going to Scottsdale, Mark. They're going to Detroit. They're going to Philadelphia. An entire generation of African-American men are being eaten alive by drugs and poverty. Well, I'm encouraged to hear the White House has discovered there's a drug problem in this country. I mean, your penetrating insight is matched only by the courage displayed in the authorship of this bill. Oh, Mark, for God. Not the three-inch grip, but the two-inch grip with the 40-gauge barrel and the 30-round clip, not the 20-round clip, with a three-day wait to run a check to see if you're crazy. As if wanting the gun wasn't a pretty good heads up in the first place. Oh, this is for show. And I think it's an unconscionable waste of the taxpayers' money to have it printed, signed, and photocopied, to say nothing of enforced. No, I want the guns, Leo. You write a law that can save some lives, I'll sign it. In the meantime, please don't tell me how to be a leader of black men. You look like an idiot. This is a sentencing hearing. And you can call witnesses at a sentencing this hearing. This is a cheap stunt to exploit your sympathy, Your Honor. I object and to I... the insulting accusation that you would be manipulated by a witness. A judge should get a little more credit than that. Thank you for your support, counsel. I'm touched. I, I won't take up much of the court's time. I'll hear from one person only, the owner of the pet or the eyewitness. Your pick. If I promise to be brief with One me. witness only. You should have killed him. But then I suppose you have your reasons. Don't move, Mr. Shepard. You have truly overstayed your welcome. Must be Gus Cantrell. What gave me away? Frank Morgan, everybody calls me Pops. Can I grab these? Oh, uh, Come on, jump in. This is Mr. Buzz. Hi, how you doing? Nice to meet you. We're about an hour from game time, so I brought your uniform along. Okay. We'll move Mr. Buzz's head up here. <laughs> Excuse me, watch, watch your... Uh... You must be pretty excited. Huh? <sighs> oh, yeah. General, can you comment on information that the bombing of the Chust refugee camp may have mistakenly targeted IMU decoys disguised to appear like tanks? Make up your mind, Ben. Yesterday you wrote they were tanks. Today, maybe not. What do you do down at the globe? Wake up every morning? Flip a coin? I'm just looking to get it right. For a change? They were tanks, without question. You have pictures of them? 
We have better pictures of them. Can we see those? No, they're classified. Yes. Now, despite Pentagon denials, there's talk that U.S. Special Forces soldiers are assisting Uzbek ground units. There are no U.S. ground troops in Uzbekistan. General? Yes. We do keep hearing that there are, in fact, U.S. troops here. Densmore, you deaf? Already answered. Asking for clarification. No, impugning my veracity. Doing my job. Which, so far this morning, has consisted of accusing your country of being a screw-up on the one hand and a liar on the other. I'm sure the other side's thrilled at how you're doing your job. General. Yes, sir. Yes. We're taking it so personally. You don't. No, I don't. And it's not because he's a guy, okay? I'm not sexist. I'm gonna spend my entire career at a woman's college if I were. So what's your problem, Max? Did I ever tell you that I was Professor of the Year in 1987? Nope, never did. It's because it didn't mean much to me. I knew I was the best. <laughs> uh, didn't need a plaque to tell me. Oh, God. Whatever happened to that guy? Well, he started drinking. Yeah. Well, yeah, right. Now I... I worry what 21-year-olds think of me. What he thinks of you is none of your business. I know that. It's, it's just that I can't turn it off, okay? I've been acting like an idiot to everyone, to Nell. I'm scared, Garvis. I, I don't want to be replaced. Look, you know who you are. I mean, you still don't need a plaque to tell you. Or any 21-year-old kid. Uh, that's too much food for you. Daddy, I weigh 36 pounds. If I just 40, I'm going to come back. <laughs> the double cheeseburgers. All right, Dad, you sounded mysterious on the phone. What's the big news? Oh, get this. The government of Venezuela is building a dam. They've asked me to head up the engineering team. They want me to fly out tomorrow morning. Really? Whoa, congratulations, Dad. Well, thanks. thanks. Yeah. Now, I, I know I've eased up on my workload the last few years since your mother passed away, but this job pay for Maestro's whole college education. Wow, that's great. How long are you going to be gone? 14 months. It's a long time. I'm going to miss you guys. Yeah. That's the best. While I'm gone, I was hoping Maestro could stay with you. I thought you'd be happy, and man, that's not no happy face. Maestro, here's a dollar. Go tip the band, okay? Yes, sir. <laughs> Dad, come on, can't you take Maestro? To Venezuela in the middle of a rainforest? Dad, yeah, come on, Sean and I are single guys. We'd like to have a social life that doesn't revolve around rug rats and Kool-Aid. <laughs> Dad, I'm sorry, but I, I can't take my story. Okay, I guess you'll have to stay with your grandma Boone. Oh, oh, no, Dad. Grandma Boone is always screaming at Grandpa Boone. So? So the man's been dead for 15 years. <laughs> Why can't Charlotte take it? Your sister lives in a sorority house with 25 other girls. Can't she take me? <laughs> Jared, I can't turn down this job. And I need you to take care of your little brother while I'm gone. The president does not think we should reinstate the draft, nor does he intend to do so. But he respects Chairman Richardson as a leader in the Congress, and he's eager to hear what he has to say and to engage in thorough debate. What's that? What CJ will say tomorrow from the podium in exchange for votes of the Black Caucus on peacekeeping in Kundu. It's not going to screw you too much? No. It'll screw us the regular amount. <laughs> this isn't you. The Union Army had a draft that you could buy yourself out for for $300. Actually, the money ended up coming in handier than the soldiers. Yeah, but I don't think that was my point. If you have money, you have a greater life expectancy across the board. You're going to have better health care, better shelter, better lawyers. And if you've got whatever today's equivalent of $300 is, you get to be united behind the war effort without actually fighting the war. And you're one of my constituents too, Toby. So I shouldn't have to tell you that. You don't, Congressman. I was just on the job tonight. 
What was your lottery number? 125. It was the last six months of the draft. Went up to 90 that year. But I didn't have the 300 bucks. Hmm. I'm going to call Sergeant Doak's family now. I'd like to stay, if you don't mind. No. Let's stay standing. Yeah.